Hey everybody, welcome to Wild Man Creations. <clears throat> if this is your first time joining me, my name is Jay, and tonight we're going to be doing some braised beef short ribs in a red wine sauce. And I need to get the cheaters on here. And I'll put the, the uh, recipe in the description box, but I'll just read off what we have here. It said five to six beef short ribs. There were three packages, they were on sale, so I grabbed all three of them, which basically ended up with 12. I don't know if I'm going to double the, the sauce yet. We'll, we'll see. Um, salt and pepper, each one of the ribs. Uh, two tablespoons of olive oil that we're going to do. It says an oven safe pot. The only thing I have that's oven safe is a Dutch oven. So that's what we're going to cook these in. Uh, three cloves of garlic. You really think I did three? Large onion, chopped. Uh, two stalks of celery, chopped. Two carrots, chopped. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Two cups of dry red wine. Two cups of beef broth. It said two sprigs of thyme, optional. I don't, my thyme is not very big in the garden yet. So we'll put a little dash of dried stuff. And then two bay leaves. And the cool thing about these bay leaves is I have a bay leaf tree and I have an endless supply. So, you know, every, whenever I start running low, I'll go out and pick a bunch of them and put them in the dehydrator and, and I've got bay leaves coming out my ears. So anyway, let me get these seasoned and I'll bring you back you know, over at the stove. And then we'll get going. So sit tight. All right, we got these puppies all seasoned up. And I'll give you a little pro tip. <clears throat> I laid some foil out and just laid them all on the foil and then salt and peppered them all at one time. Instead of trying to do each individual one. So we'll let, we'll let these go for five to seven minutes per side. Get them browned up. And I'm not going to make you all sit through that. I'll bring you back once they're all browned up, and then we'll start making our sauce. So if you would, sit tight. Okay, we're back. Almost done browning these. But I do want to make a correction. I said five minutes per side. If you did it five minutes per side, these things would be way cook, overcooked. Five minutes total. <clears throat> you just want to brown them on all six sides. And these are looking pretty good. And all you're doing is sealing off the, the outside so you, um, we'll hold the moisture and the flavor in. Oh, by the way, in my oven is already preheated to 325. You want to do that. Preheat your oven to 325. And now we're going to turn our fryer down to about a medium. We're going to add an onion. Add our three cloves of garlic. We give it a whirl. Put that for a couple minutes. Give it a good Oh man, I wish I could smell this. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. 
I know it's not quite two minutes, but that's close enough. <clears throat> Celery. Carrots. I'll do those till they get soft. Trusting everybody had a good weekend. Looking good. <clears throat> now then, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Yeah, baby. Again, you've heard me say this before. If it calls for a cup of wine, I just, I buy these. They're a tear under a cup, but I mean, it's close enough for me. That way you're not buying a whole bottle and wasting three quarters of it. And if you don't like red wine, use something else, use white wine. Use a Merlot. If you want your sauce a little sweeter, use a Zin. It doesn't matter. All the alcohol is going to cook out of it anyway. But I do think the uh, the dry red wine has more has a little more flavor to it. That's looking pretty good, man. Looking pretty good. Let's throw our bay leaves in. It says two sprigs. I don't know how much two sprigs is. We'll call two sprigs that much. And if it tastes bad later, it's your fault because you didn't tell me when to stop. All right. Now we'll put these back in here. And I'm going to put them in bone side down. 
just because that's what I want to do. And all of these are going to fit one way or another. You just want to make sure they're covered with liquid. See, we didn't have to make extra sauce, so. All right, we're gonna put the lid on. By the way, since I'm cooking with cast iron, this is a side note. See the little dimples on there? Y'all know what those are for? I know, but if you know, comment. Put a, put a uh, comment in the comment section. I know why they're there. So, without further ado, we're turning that off and we're going to put this puppy in the oven. For three hours. And with that, we'll see you in a little bit. And it's going to be good, I promise. So sit tight. Okay, so here we are three hours later. falling apart. It's crazy. y'all can see this here. These things are just falling apart. This is crazy. Okay, well there's the ribs. Let me, um, let me go get my cohort. And we'll be right back. Hang on just a second. Be right back. Man, these things are falling off of the bone. This is crazy. This is nuts.
Mm. Oh man, these things are so tender. Yeah, the gravy and the, or drippings and stuff for the purest. You can run through a sieve, get rid of all the onions and carrots and celery and garlic and all that, and then thicken it up with some flour. Personally, I just soon dip it in there and run it over my meat and potatoes or whatever you're gonna do. Cause I like the I like the bits and the um, the textures and stuff like that. So anyway, do what you want to do. Try this. It's excellent. And if you would, subscribe, like, share my channel. I would appreciate it. It helps it out a bunch. And I'm not hearing any gripes from the peanut gallery back there. So I, I'm assuming it's pretty good. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me and spending your time with me tonight. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Have a good night.